Hello everyone, uh, this is Kathy Cho. I haven't done a, a video in a while, so I just thought I'd do a little crafty uh, video to share. Um, yeah, I craft uh, all the time, and um, I thought why not um, share some of the stuff that I make and uh, go through the steps, and uh, uh, maybe you could make one too, or be inspired to make one similar. So I'm using uh, products from Pinkfresh today. Um, I'm using the new... Um, uh, background uh, feather press uh, a stamp and die it's called ornate oops ornate trellis I also have the die for that um, I'm using the thankful for friends um, foil uh, stamp die or a uh, stamp I'm also using the die and the stencils to go with that um, I'm using the Beyond Happy stamp set, which um, has um, all these uh, beautiful little um, uh, phrases on them. Um, I'm also using the uh, Folk Edge uh, rectangles. Yep, and uh, then the stamp uh, inks I'm using are Passion Fruit, Coral Reef, Key Lime, and bay leaf so i have a lot of this stuff already cut um so uh so this way i'm not uh, having too long of a video so let's start with the image so what i did was i uh, i used the pink gold uh foil and i heat embossed the image um if you do not um use a foil machine they also offer this in a uh in a stamp set so you could always emboss it in uh, like a rose gold if you wanted to so i've got my um stencils already ready and i don't see where i put them oh they're right next to me okay so i'm going to start with the lighter of the um of the pinks first. I'm starting with the coral reef. So I'm just going to line this up. Get that on there. So I have a brush for each of these uh, colors. It's just going to make it easier while I'm doing this. So I'm actually going to go a little bit darker on the inside of this flower, or these flowers. So I'm just going to have it slowly, uh, a slow gradient up. Like I said, I'm just working a little bit more in the flowers, like towards the um, base of it, then slowly working out. Okay, so that's stencil one. And again, that was the coral reef really love that color it just pops against the white and so then the next one is stencil two oh, that's stencil four hmm. I went with stencil two next on mine or stencil four next so that's actually my second one so stencil four is the next one this one I'm gonna go a little bit darker and I'm gonna go with the passion fruit and again with this one, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to work in the base and then just slowly work out. Like I'm getting all of it, but I'm just getting a little bit more in the base. 
Isn't pretty? It's just light and just enough to uh, give it a little bit of definition there. Okay, so next I am going to use stencil one. Okay, I really went out of order on this. But you can go in the order of the stencils if you want. I just, I like starting with the flowers first on this one just because they're so pretty and it, you just see the results uh, quickly and right away. So with this one, I did the key lime. I used a lot of the green, so I need to line it up a little bit better there. So again, I'm going a little bit darker on the stems and on these bottom leaves, and then also at the stem of the flower there. And of course, I go over the whole thing again. And my last stencil is stencil two. So I'm moving very quickly with this just because I don't want to go over 10 minutes. We're getting pretty close to this. So the last one is olive. And I used the Pink Fresh, the uh, larger uh, brushes on this one. Oh, you know what? I didn't use olive. I think I used bay leaf the last time. I was wondering why this looked different. I had this one setting out because I wasn't sure which one I was going to use the first time on my card. So maybe we'll see how this looks then. Oh, that looks pretty. Maybe I should have started with that one. Okay, I'm just going to pause for a second and then just run this through the uh, dye machine. Okay, so I just finished uh, die cutting that. I was a little bit off uh, on that side, but I don't think it's going to make a difference. Um, next, um, I ran the uh, the frame die um, through the um, through the machine. Again, this is the folk edge uh, die uh, frame die, and um, what I did was I used the smallest one. And I'm going to take this frame and I'm going to take the um, the passion fruit and just uh, apply ink to that. So let me uh, pause again so you'll have to watch that and I will be right back. Okay, so I finished doing my frame. Um, I left the inside of it white. Uh, we're also going to use this on the card front. So I have a base here. Um, I went with a top fold uh, four and a quarter by five and a half uh, white card base. I ran the uh, better press um, die through um, the um, ornate um, ornate die set ornate trellis. I ran it through again with the uh, rose gold and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mount this flat to the card base. So one sec. Okay so I thought that while I was oh, let me adjust that. I thought that while I was at it, I would go ahead and mount the frame and the inside to the card as well. And what I did was I just used my uh, liquid uh, glue. I'm I'm using the Nuvo uh, liquid group glue, and this way I could adjust if I wanted to. Um, next, I'm going to uh, put the flower on. I'm using um, pop dots for this, and I'm just going to have it so that the bottom of the stems are mounted there. Next, I'm using the Beyond Happy um, uh, stamp set Life is Beautiful and So Are You. Pop dot on each end. Mounting that. And there you go. That's the card. I hope